Dear Ned, Austria has been wonderful so far. Dad called. He wants me to get an old relic while I'm here, the Book of Apologies, which dates back to the 17th century witch trials in Salem. I'll be going to Mosam Castle to retrieve it before I head back to the States. It's said to be haunted, so I'm expecting some good scares and mysteries. Ever yours, Nancy. Feels like ages since I was on my last adventure. So, are you coming in? <laughs> uh, that's all right, Miss Drew. I prefer to stay out here. Why? It's so warm and inviting in here. <laughs> um, yes, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. All of Judge Sewell's effects are there, just as your father requested. Although, I will tell you, as I told him, the desk is locked, and I don't have the key. But I will gladly stay and answer any questions you have from the other side of this door. I recommend opening the window for some light. There's no electricity here. Well, in that room at least. Ah, oh, much better. What a wonderful view. You said Judge Sewell was a pious man. Yes, he believed in the healing powers of the good book. Of course, the Bible was also used to justify executing people. Depends on who's reading it. It's often misinterpreted. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my plea for mercy. Sounds like a man full of regret. to be a prison cell. Mosam Castle was the site of the most famous and violent witch trials in Austrian history. <clears throat> the Salzburg witch trials predate the Salem witch trials by 17 years, actually. After the incidents in Salem, Judge Sewell willed his personal effects to be preserved by whichever museum would have them. And since we are the premier historical reference on witch trials, it ended up here. So, You've seen his book of apologies. The book written by Judge Sewell? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I've never actually been in that room. You mind if I ask why? Is there something scarier in here than creaky floors? Well, let's just say that ghosts exist in this castle. And if they do exist, they definitely haunt that room. Ghosts? Hmm. Can't say I've ever seen one. But they are non-corporeal by definition. Hard to tell how far up we are. Malleus Maleficarum. Wow. The hammer of witches itself. Gives me chills knowing what it did. Yes, indeed. A how-to guide for hammering out witchcraft. It was written in 1487 by a man whose name I won't even bother to mention because he used bunk science to send hundreds, if not thousands, of people to their deaths. There really isn't much here. <laughs> yes. Judge Sewell was a Puritan. They believed they should only have purposeful or utilitarian possessions. Very little value outside their stated use. There really isn't much here. Some of this stuff looks very old. But it doesn't look like it's very useful. Is 
this Judge Sewell's desk. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. That desk is where he spent most of his time working when he wasn't in court. Custom made. If the Book of Apologies does exist, he would have written it at that desk. And what's inside this alleged book? Your father didn't tell you? <clears throat> it was a ledger containing all the names of the accused witches from the Salem Witch Trials. Judge Sewell had doubts about his convictions, and he wrote the book as a means to... make amends. Allegedly. Yes. I found a letter. It's addressed to Abigail Hathorne Woodley. What does it say? I do regret to write to you in this state. I have been racked with guilt as my fervency of spirit was too great to determine a conviction just. He asks for her forgiveness and for God's. mean locked doesn't fit. What a clever desk. It even comes with a labyrinth. Here. What? Really? Amazing! It's locked behind some sort of cage, though. The lock says A W. Any ideas? A W? No. But I have some tools in the shop that might be able to cut it free. In my shop. I I'll go. Meet me there. Where is that? Hey, wait for me. The Book of Apologies. It's locked. Dr. Hurst? Nancy Drew, it's Deirdre Shannon. Deirdre, can I call you back? I'm in the middle of... Listen, I know we haven't exactly been besties in the past, but I'm in the middle of something big, and I... Deirdre, I have to call you back. Wait, wait, don't hang up on me! Elizabeth? Elizabeth! <gasps> hey! What are you doing? What? The book! They took the book! Stop! Stop running! Oh, 
Ini. Figure out which way they went. Must be a clue here. A W. A ticket to Boston. This canister looks to have been used as a homemade smoke bomb. Yes, Deirdre, what is it? You know where I am right now? Salem. Salem? As in, witch trial Salem? Obvi. Come on, Drew. My cousin has... Well, she's gotten into some trouble here, and I thought I could help her out. But it turns out this situation is much more complicated than I anticipated. So now, I'm calling you to ask for some... guidance. <laughs> you want my help? Oh, yes. Don't make this more painful. I could use your... professional opinion, okay? Well, it so happens that the case I'm on is connected to Boston, which is just nearby Salem. And I was never a big believer in coincidences. Oh, are you sure? I'd love to. Seriously? I thought I had reached a dead end, but it looks like I have to go to Massachusetts anyway. In any case, a fresh perspective would do me good. Ugh, you're already annoying me, and you're not even here yet. <laughs> you're welcome. I think it might even be fun. Oh, this is so the worst idea I've ever had. I'll pick you up from the airport. appreciate you coming here, Drew. I'm just glad you didn't change your mind and leave me at the airport. Might have crossed my mind. Keep the excessive cheeriness under control, and we'll be fine. Hmm. No promises. Where were you, by the way? Austria. Did I interrupt a vacation with Ned? Didn't you bring me here to help with a case? Yes, I did. And that's it. anyone hurt? Happened in the middle of the night. No one was there, thankfully. The house wasn't completely destroyed, but the person who lived there had to move out. Just so we're clear, this is my case. I know you're a detective and everything, but this is personal. It's family. Well, extended, and from my father's side. But whatever, that's not the point. It's personal. You take my lead. Okay? Of course. But? Well, I have done this a couple of times, Deirdre. And in my experience, we can cover twice as much ground if we work side by side. I, you know, respect your experience and whatever, but family trumps experience. It's sensitive, and I don't want you messing it up by being too... To what? To you. You're a question machine. This requires gentle handling. Delicate. <laughs> and that's been your approach. Well, like I say, I need help. So, can I ask some questions? Like anyone could stop you. Why don't we start with your extended family? They're cousins. The Perrys. P-A-R-R-Y. Oh, like in fencing. Yes. Tegan is the older one. May is younger. They've... They had a difficult childhood, okay? And now May is suspected of committing arson on the most important historic mansion in Salem. And I know it's not true. I know it. What can you tell me about May? She has a reputation as a troublemaker. Seems like a loner to me. Maybe a bit odd at times. 
Sometimes she can even sense things before they happen. Odd how? I don't know. Troubled teen stuff, difficult time as a kid. Oddest thing is, she won't give an alibi. That would be seen as suspicious. That's the problem. Everyone is so suspicious of her. Prejudice, I guess. Because of... Well, you'll see. Sounds like we should talk to her soon. Where do you think we're going? What does Tegan think about this? She's worried about May, obviously. Tegan isn't like May. She's... upstanding. She works at the Salem Museum and doesn't know a thing about criminal cases. Which is why she contacted me. One more question. What can you tell me about this historic mansion? It's called... the Hathorn House. And it's old. Like, really old. And now it's been set on fire. Nothing else significant about it? Well, yeah. A lot of things. But one that's... Ugh. That's kind of why you're here. Which is why? The Hathorn House is haunted. What do you mean, haunted? Exactly that. There's ghosts. Deirdre. I don't believe it either, Drew. But... I can't explain it. Everyone seems to think they exist. With so many sightings, even if it isn't real ghosts, something is definitely going on. I thought that maybe you can... disprove them. So, would you please get out of my car and come inside? If we're going to work side by side, You'd better learn to keep up with me. You must be Nancy. Thank you so much for coming. You know, you live in the same neighborhood for 20 years and you'd expect your neighbors to be a little more understanding when your family is falsely accused of a horrific crime. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you, Deirdre? I'm good, thanks. Tegan Perry, welcome to my home. Well, our home, although right now my parents are literally on safari in Namibia, so... While their daughter is being convicted of a crime she didn't commit, I'm taking care of things around here. They'll be home soon. Hopefully. A very expensive courier is tracking them down in the bush. Top notch, I found him on the internet. Deirdre tells me you'll be assisting her in clearing my sister's name. Assisting? Yeah. She's innocent. I don't know why she won't help herself. She's got... a difficult reputation. Well, you know, Deirdre, what people here can be like. She doesn't trust easily, not since... I'm sorry, are you hungry? There's clam chowder, homemade. A little taste of New England. I made up the guest bedroom for you, Nancy. Deirdre, sorry, you're bunking with me. Make yourselves at home. Oh, I almost forgot. After you girls get comfortable, you two should swing by the museum. Might as well take in some history while you're here, right? <laughs> Just don't get suckered into that witch's walking tour. Olivia Ravencroft is not a witch. She would have you believing all kinds of nonsense about the town being full of ghosts. I thought you two used to be friends. That was a long time ago. Look, I I'm sorry, I gotta get going. Running late to an appointment. Thanks, Tegan. I appreciate you letting us stay. Before you go, do you have time for a quick question? Nancy, we just got here. Sorry, I know you're in a rush. It would really help. Of course, I have time for one question, if it'll help. What can you tell me about where the fire happened? What have you heard about it? Look, I appreciate you want help, but I don't want you dragging all that up and upsetting May. You told me she would be able to reach her. That's not the... That's not what Nancy is asking about. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear. I just thought, since the Hathorn House is important to the town, you must know about it. Through the museum. Oh, I'm so sorry. The Hathorn House fire. Yes, John Hathorn was one of Salem's founders. 
His large house estate was the oldest surviving structure from 17th century Salem. Oh, is that all? Uh-uh-uh, that was two questions. I said one. <laughs> but yes, he was also the big-time judge that presided over the Salem witch trials. Is there some other fire I need to know about? No. May's accident was in a fire. I just don't want her getting upset with unnecessary questions about things long over. I understand. You can read all about Judge Hathorne when you come to the museum later. Gotta run. You jerk. Tegan said you've been in town for days, but you haven't come by. I know, I know, I know. I had to check in with your case at the, uh... Look, I didn't want to bother you. How are you holding up? Uh, I've been accused of worse. No, you haven't. Hey, at least I got you to get off your butt and finally visit me. Um... Oh, this is the girl I was telling you about. Nancy Drew. Nice to meet you. Oh. She really doesn't want to talk. This could be difficult. Any advice? Hmm. Do better? I'll be in the kitchen. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Do you mind if I look around the house? Ugh, you're so weird. I'm done talking, okay? Rust be gone. Now that's handy. Never know when a bit of stubborn iron oxide will get in the way of investigating. Hiking the Patagonian Highlands, Outback Safari, survival guide for the rainforest of Myanmar. The Perrys have a real taste for adventure. Deirdre's convertible. Looks strikingly familiar. to leave yet? We don't have all day. What were you actually doing before you picked me up from the airport? What do you mean? You gave May a non-answer when she asked why it took you so long to stop by here. A non-answer? Yeah, because I went to the police station. And? And they're still going through the evidence. And when they found out I was May's cousin, they started... Laughing. So they think she did it. Everyone does. So I went to check out the Hathorne house myself. But I never went inside. The ghost? What? No. There was some weirdo there who told me the ghost was going to steal my soul. It was totally creepy. And then I found out that everyone in this town believes in ghosts, so I didn't enter. Well, whatever or whoever it is, there's an explanation behind it. Did the police give you anything? Anything at all? They told me there's a Judge Danforth in town, and he's going over the particulars of the Hathorne House estate. I found his office, but he kinda never let me enter his office. Believe me, I tried. I know him. Not well, but enough to get through his door and have a conversation. Alright, are we going into town or what? Sure. Who could gain something by burning down a house? Insurance claim, maybe? Possibly. 
means motive and opportunity. We need to start interviewing. See if anyone checks off those three boxes. And in your experience? It's usually something much more personal. This tour sounds interesting. Don't tell Tegan that's your plan. It'll give us a good overview of the town. You mean I want to meet the real witch of Salem? Yeah, I do. She might know something. I wonder why Tegan doesn't like her. You don't have to investigate everything, Drew. Olivia steals Tegan's visitors, sounds like. You really want to do the dumb tour? You don't have to come with me. Side by side. Gotta be honest, it does sound more fun than the museum. Ned! Hi! Ned, how have you been? Thanks for finally picking up. Uh, sorry. I've been on a flight. Busy on another case, huh? You know, you should really enjoy yourself more, Nance. Life's too short to be working all the time. This isn't work for me. It's fun. Besides, crime doesn't take a vacation. Speaking of which, how's yours? <laughs> Ned, come on! Yeah, one second. Sounds like you're having fun. Uh, you know, standard fare. Nothing too crazy. I miss you, Nance. I miss you. Hey, give it back. Two. Nancy, I'll call you later. Call you later, Nancy. Well, that was... Yeah. the story of the witches of Salem. Those poor souls were caught in a time of fear and greed, and they paid the price. They may have died, but witchcraft lives on in Salem. Oh, this should be interesting. The world would have you believe witches were not real. I'm not talking about old, ugly women who curse their neighbors and fly on broomsticks. The truth is, magician? witches are real. They have always been real. They are alive and well. They are powerful, carrying the secrets of the world beyond the one we see. Ritual, mystery, magic. Sweet. Most exist now only in secret, and they may be standing among you even now. It is said, that in Salem, a coven of witches settled in recent years, set on revenge for the deaths of the Salem witches. Their ritual, one midnight on Halloween, unleashed the angry spirit of the past. <coughs> Thank you. Now, if any of you are interested in the real history of the witches of Salem, I provide self-guided tours through some of my favorite locations in town. And perhaps you too will see one of the restless day. Thief in Austria used the same kind of stage magic she's using. Thief? There was a thief? What were you doing there? Visiting a spooky old castle. You'd have liked it. Do you regularly fly to Europe for investigations? Sometimes. And if you want to learn about being a witch, come forward. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Me? Never. Well, nothing too bad, I hope. Did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum, ginger hair was the sign of a witch? You're my kind of thief. I'm not nearly as talented as you are. Aw, oh, shucks. You're making me blush. Oh, there it is. Now I'm turning red. You truly are a witch. So to become a witch, do I need to take a test or get a diploma? A true witch is not made with pieces of paper. She is born to it and will feel the call. Bureaucracy is for persecutors. We don't need permission. We don't live by the rules. <laughs> anyway, what can I help you with? How did you perform that trick? <laughs> A witch never reveals her secrets. 
It's against the witch code. A code? I thought bureaucracy and rules were for persecutors. Although, if you take my self-guided tour, I promise you will learn at least one secret about being a witch. How often do you do this show? Most nights. It gets busier around Halloween. And I'm sure you can figure out why. How about the night that the Hathorn house was burned? <clears throat> you look a little young to be working for the police, dear. Oh no, it's nothing like that. We're just curious tourists. Good. Because I've already spoken with them. And so, you were here. I was out of town. Did you girls know that Salem is haunted? There's a ghost here. If you go on my tour, you'll learn where you can find it. And you lived in Salem for long. Born and raised. So you know the Perrys? Of course. Not well. If you are looking for them, Tegan is at the museum. She works there. Not well. We're staying with Tegan. I figured there was some history between you two. That was a long time back. We don't talk much now. And May? Yes, I know her too. Not spoken to her for a long time either. But you've heard the rumors about her. May is a troubled girl. And sometimes such girls get blamed for things that were not their... I don't think she burned down the Hathorn house if that's what you're trying to get at. People with mundane minds look for mundane explanations. Do you really believe some modern witch coven unleashed ghosts on Salem? About eight years back, there were rumors of a coven that they performed a ritual to return the dead witches to Salem to seek out their revenge before the witches moved on. Is there any evidence of such a coven? Ever since then, ghost sightings have gone through the roof. Salem is now considered the most haunted place in the country. Interesting. You think it's a coincidence that the former home of the Hathorns was set on fire? How else could the fire have started? I heard there was not a single living soul in the house when it started burning. Keyword, living. The world is composed of two equal parts, dark and light. The light we see every day. It's the trees, the people, the birds. It's our world. You can even see it at night. The dark is the unknown. A plane of existence that vibrates just underneath the light. But if you were in a place like Salem, a place where a painful history permeates every surface, every crack, every brick, and every tube, the dark will appear. Usually when you least expect it. That's why they say, don't be out past midnight in Salem, because the dark may reach out and take you. Also, did you know that Salem has more ghost sightings than any other city in North America? If you want to learn why, you should go on my tour. Talk to you later. We all know certain renegades in this town know something or two about fire. May Perry, you don't think she'd do it again, do you? She was so young. Wouldn't surprise me. Creeping around back alleys with her hood head down? Where there's smoke, there's fire. Hmm. Well, with her history, she's bound to already be in the sights of the neighborhood watch. So we'll find out soon enough. My thoughts, exactly. completely collapsed into the sinkhole. No wonder they closed it off. The ground is still crumbling. That group is really chanting up a storm. What has them so angry? Can I help you? Hi, 
Hey, sorry to bother you, but we were looking for Judge Danforth's office. Just across the hall? Why? What did you two girls do? We didn't do... I'm kidding. Alicia Cole, Esquire. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew, and this is Deirdre Shannon. You're a lawyer. Salem's best. The only practicing lawyer in the historic town limits, if you could believe it. And if you girls were in any trouble, I'd have no problem representing you. You both have that innocent look. Juries love it. So you're saying we could get away with a crime? We? No? Partners in crime? Sorry to bother you, Miss Cole. We'll check in with the judge. Have a good evening. You'd really become my enemy if I committed a crime? Sorry. You shouldn't joke about that. Why? You gonna arrest me? No, but I'd call the police to report you. I'd also recommend you a decent lawyer. Because I'm an excellent witness for the prosecution. Wow. I'm a lawyer's daughter, Deirdre. Don't mess with me. Hello? Judge Danforth. Yeah, hello. Ted, is that you? Ted? Um, no, Your Honor. My name is Nancy Drew. I think you've spoken with my father. Nancy Drew? Carson's daughter? Yes, and I'm with my friend Deirdre Shannon. We're investigating the arson of the Hathorn house. Ah, yes, yes. Can we come in? Well, you see, no, I mean, I'd let you in, but I seem to have been locked in my office and I, uh, I need some help getting out. hoping we could talk about the Hathorn House case. Yes, it's a terrible tragedy for our town, but let's table that discussion for later, okay? I'd like to get out of my office first. I wanted to talk to you about the Book of Apologies. You know, the book in Austria, at the Mosam Castle. Yes, Nancy, I would love to talk about it, but I would really love if we could do it in person, face to face, as opposed to through this door. where I could find a key to your office? Yes, I believe I gave a copy of the key to Alicia Cole as backup. She's just down the hall. I hope she's still here. Yes, can I help you? He said you might have a key. <laughs> Sorry, I gave him my spare. Unbelievable. Does this ever end? Oh, well then. Do you have a paper clip? Yeah. And if you don't mind me asking, what business do you two have with the judge? We're helping the judge with the case. Anything I can assist you with? Thanks, but I think we got it. No need for a lawyer. At least, not yet. Hello? Judge Danforth. I'll come back later. Judge Danforth? I couldn't find your key. What? Alicia said she'd keep a copy for me. Well, I did find a paper clip. I think I can pick your luck, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure, fine. Actually. Online video tutorial. Someday you have to tell me about your secret life of breaking and entering, Drew. Because you're in danger of being cool. Which, honestly, I just don't like.
own day. Ah, those protesters are out there again, stirring the pot. You know, this town used to be a quiet place, but it seems lately there's been an element that has infiltrated our community. I have no doubt one of those troublemakers locked my door and threw away the key. Now, Nancy, your father and I have discussed. Oh, sorry, I'm not Nancy. Of course you're not, you look nothing like Carson. Did your father ever tell you about the time we won fourth place at the Lake Winnipesaukee Regatta? <laughs> you see, at the time I had 2010 vision, so I was the navigator and... Judge, this is Deirdre Shannon. She's working with me on the case. Deirdre, you're the one who tried to break down my door. Break down? Your Honor, that's an exaggeration. I was knocking. Heavily. Look, I'm really busy. Dealing with this Hathorne House business. Uh, being a judge is not as simple as, uh, you know, investigating during your free time. Well, we just used our free time to unlock your door. So I'm sure you'll be willing to repay us with some answers to our questions. Right? <clears throat> yes, of course. What can I help you girls with? Can you explain to us how you're involved with the Hathorne House? Well, yes. The house was built by Judge John Hathorne during the 1600s, and it represented the oldest surviving structure from that era. Judge Hathorne, of course, was one of the three judges that presided over the Salem Witch Trials. Yes, and I'm sure we can read all about the home's history in Salem's Museum. More recently, Francis Tuttle, Judge Hathorne's last direct descendant, lived in a small section of the house while the rest was left to fall into considerable disrepair. She was alone, except for a part-time caregiver, Lauren Holt, who had a bedroom in the carriage house. <clears throat> a few months ago, Frances Tuttle passed away, which left Hathorne House without a legal heir. According to the historical statutes of Salem, after 90 days, the house reverts to public property. The deadline which is two days from now, at midnight. I was told that the burning of Hathorne House is suspected to be a case of arson. How did the police come to that conclusion? The investigation found paint solvent residue on burnt embers, suggesting someone deliberately used an accelerant. Thankfully, Mrs. Tuttle never had to see what became of her home. And what evidence do you have that May Perry is the one responsible for this? Evidence? Have you ever heard of recidivism? Three out of four criminals in the United States are repeat offenders. And there's only one person in all of Salem who has a history of fire-related crime. So, there is no evidence? Not yet, but there will be. You don't need evidence. She's already been convicted in the court of public opinion. Is that what she said? No, I'm saying it. She has a history with this sort of thing. What's May's motive? What does she gain by burning down the Hathorne house? You'd have to ask her, and while you're at it, you can ask about her alibi, which she refused to give to the police. So, any other questions? So the Book of Apologies. Why did you really need it? <clears throat> yes, and first of all, I'm so glad you're all right. Nasty business. Had I known you were going to be put in harm's way, I would have never called Carson and asked for his help. I've done plenty of work for my father. Trust me. I can handle myself. Yes, I'm sure you can. So, I've already heard some stories, but would you mind giving me your version of why the book is important? Yes, so... Judge Sewell was rumored to keep a ledger of all the accused, intending to publish it to reconcile with their families and clear their names. But he passed away before he could do so. Going to Austria for a rumored book seems like a heck of a long shot. <laughs> well, I have been under some pressure from the A.W. group. A.W. as in accused witches. Don't you think it's dangerous throwing around May's name as a suspect before any evidence links her to the crime? 
Uh, what do you mean? What are you saying? From what you've described, there is no evidence against May. Yet you were saying that she did it. I just... As a judge, I think you would be the first to admit that sounds prejudicial. It is not just me, Miss Drew. There are plenty of people who believe that May is responsible for this crime. It is not prejudice when she is the only likely suspect. Actually, that is the definition of prejudice. I'm not going to have this debate with you. Is there anything else? So, how did Francis Tuttle pass away exactly? The woman was 88 years old. The coroner confirmed her death was of natural causes. So they never investigated Lauren Holt. You need the suspicion of foul play to investigate someone, young lady. We'd like to speak with her all the same. She still lives on the estate, although for how much longer we do not know. You can also find her in her shop, Luminous Infusions. She might be willing to talk to you. Talk to you later. Miss True, before you go, there is something else I need your help with. You're not locked out of your car, are you? Oh, no. <clears throat> there was a... There was an incident here recently. Someone broke into the evidence room. Oh. Have you called the police? Well, no, not yet. I don't think anything was taken. Never mind. I'll, I'll call the police. Thank you for your time. learn something about the town. Might help May's case. That group is really chanting up a storm. What has them so angry? So, how did your meeting go with the judge? Informative, but he's not telling us everything. Don't worry. Come back tomorrow. He'll be in a better mood then. Are you Carson Drew's daughter? How could you possibly guess that? It's the hair, isn't it? <laughs> no. I see him in you. It's more than just looks. I didn't know you and my father knew each other. Know him enough. If you need any help, Nancy, please feel free to ask. Good night. I'll come back later. of a Puritan woman accused of being a witch. These were ordinary people, just like anyone else. Hey, sorry about the mess. We're in the middle of installing a big showcase. So what have you seen in town so far? We decided to do the real witches tour. Oh, you talked to Olivia. What's with her getup? Witch? Street magician, maybe? Everyone has to make a living. 
Is she telling the story about a coven living here in the recent past? Yeah. Why? Just bad taste. Olivia is quite the local character. I hope you don't mind if we do the tour. I want to see more of the town, and finding out a place's old superstitions is kind of a habit I've gotten into. I'm excited to look around the museum. Of course. looks great. Now to find a nice place to put it. Not yet. Not yet. Closed off. Looks like they're preparing a new installation. off about that bookcase. Hmm. Need a closer look. There's something off about that bookcase. Hmm. Need a closer look. There's something off about that bookcase. Hmm. There's something off about that. Well, we have the tickets. Let's go see the lame witch of Salem. Oops, I mean real witch. Can't use that here. on my tour. Thank you. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Talk to you later. Darn, missed the opening hour. How's the investigating going? 
Any progress with May? I've got some leads. I haven't had much progress with May, though. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions, if you have time. Sure thing. How can I help? What's this new showcase about? Yes, this new showcase is going to be really cool, just in time for Halloween, you know? But what is it about? If you come back on Halloween, I'll show you. So what's the deal with these pumpkins? Oh, yeah. I've prepared some pumpkins that visitors can carve and bring with them to place around Salem. Feel free to give it a try if you want. It's really fun and completely free. Talk to you later. Side by side. Use that here. Oh, hi. So, we met this interesting woman named Olivia. We all know about Olivia and her... magic. I thought it was pretty cool. Good for you. We saw Tegan at the museum. Looks like she's working on an interesting installation. Why don't you ask her? Well, I thought you might have an opinion, or... I don't. Can you just leave her out of this? I don't want her being involved with my problems. I'm done talking, okay? Hi. I'm... Perrys recycle their paper waste. Good on them. Wait, what's this? Someone must have been upset. They tore this note up. Can't use that here. Can't use that here. Can't use...
It is a note. But why tear it up like this? What is that? I found it in your trash. It says, I know. Yeah, I can read. So? So I don't know what it is. Don't go through my trash. I'm done talking, okay? Lighter. Why here? Better hang on to this. gives me the chills. You stand before the remains of Salem's most zealous and conniving judge. So lacking in morals was Judge Hathor that he sentenced innocents to death while claiming the estates of the dead as his own. Unlike the more remorseful Judge Sewell, Hathorn never felt any guilt for his part in the Salem witch trial. that here can't use that Hathorn house can't see it from here lies the infamous Hathorn Estate. It was common during the Salem Witch Trials that the lands of the accused were taken and resold for cheap. The judge himself bought many such lands, and on them built his grand estate. The Hathorn House has since come to represent all the wrongs that were inflicted during the trial.
Hathorne, helping the accused witches escape the grasp of her own brother, Judge Hathorne himself. Abigail freed many from their holding cells until the judge caught her in the act and locked her up in a cell deep within the Hathorne house. The statue was given the name Little Liberty in honor of her valiant efforts to free the innocent. until the judge caught her in the act and locked her. that here. surrounding the Hathorn house, her twisted soul now dragging the living into the afterlife. Talk to you. 
The road has completely collapsed into the sinkhole. No wonder they closed it off. The ground is still crumbling. Oh there, watch your step. In recent years, these maws into the deep unknown have opened. There was once a vast network of tunnels beneath Salem, used by smugglers during the Prohibition era. Most would have you believe that these tunnels are now collapsing. But you have to wonder if there could be something more sinister behind these sudden maws into the underworld. known formerly as the Town Hall. Not only a great resource for the Salem Witch Trials, it also holds records of other interesting facets of our local history. Anyone visiting Salem does well to seek out the forbidden knowledge hidden in these halls. The Salem Museum, known formerly as the Town Hall, not only a great resource for the Salem Witch Trials, it also holds records of other interesting facets of our local history. Anyone visiting Salem does well to seek out the forbidden knowledge hidden in these halls. The carefully researched genealogy of several accused witches. Their names weren't fully cleared until 2001. It was a time of horror, when the witches who walked the earth were wrongfully prosecuted and thus stripped of everything. These are the ghosts you'll find here in Salem. Their homes taken, their knowledge destroyed, their lives erased. Okay. I'm officially exhausted. Let's head back to the Perry house, okay? Hey, this is Nancy Drew. I have a couple more questions, if you don't mind. Oh, hello. I remember you, yes. Uh, sorry. Forgot about the time zones. It's fine, it's fine. What did you want to ask me? I want to know more about victims of witch trials. I see. Well, my focus lies on the Salver Yako witch trials in and around Mosam Castle in the late 1600s. A clear but unusual pattern emerged for arresting, torturing, and executing at least 139 people. How awful. What do you mean by a pattern? The victims were social outcasts. Disabled, homeless, poor. Over half of them were mere children and juveniles that gathered in gangs of beggars and petty thieves to survive. Uncommonly, more than two-thirds of the accused witches in this case were male. That's so sad. They didn't stand a chance. Indeed. Their low social status left them vulnerable to public scorn and persecution, as they had no one to vouch for their whereabouts. One young man in particular was sought after but never found, Jakob Kohler. The rumors of his black magic grew wilder by the day, spiraling into a witch-hunting craze. Hmm. This is worrisome. I don't want the same thing to happen in Salem a second time. All the more important to educate about the past. Anything else you'd like to ask? Can you tell me any more about Judge Sewell? Ah, yes. Samuel Sewell was a man plagued by remorse about the Salem Witch Trials for the rest of his life. 
he came to realize witchcraft does not exist and saw misfortunes in his personal life as punishment from God for condemning innocent people on insubstantial evidence. At least he came to his senses. But too late to save the trial victims. I believe he tried to make amends in other ways. Although not free of problematic views of the time, Sewell did strongly protest against slavery, composing the earliest recorded anti-slavery tract of what was to become the United States. I'm not sure if that helps my investigation, but it's nice to hear people can learn and do better. Indeed. Nice to hear people can learn and do better. Indeed. Any more questions? Did you find any more secrets on A.W. inside Judge Sewell's desk? <laughs> Nothing you hadn't already uncovered. It's an intriguing design, however, one that would become popular throughout Europe a century later, under the famous German cabinet maker, David Röntgen. I wonder how Sewell managed to be ahead of his time. The ghost of carpentry yet to come? What? The world has always been filled with crafty artisans. Another example of mechanical trick vessels and furniture can be found much earlier. In the 12th century works of chief engineer Ismail Altazari. Ah, oh, but I'm getting carried away. Wish I had the chance to crack the Book of Apologies, too. The A.W. Lock. You have no idea what that could be referring to. I'm afraid not. I've looked up a few options but found nothing I consider plausible. I'm sorry I cannot be of more help here, but if you find out, please let me know. I'm very curious about this myself. All right, thanks anyway. I'm on it. Right, good. Any more questions? I'll let you get back to your evening. Night? Thank you for taking time for me. It was nice talking to you again. You're welcome. Uh, please, stay in touch with any historical discoveries you make. I greatly appreciate it. Will do. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm ghosting you. Try again later. Or don't. <sighs> At least she's honest. Hi. You've reached the phone of Private Investigator Deirdre Shannon. I'm working on an important case and can't come to the phone right now. But if you have any information you'd like to share, please leave a message after the beep. Professional. Deirdre is taking this very seriously. <laughs>